Well, Summer STEM Academy is our attempt to engage kids over the summer, engage their curiosity around science, technology, engineering, mathematics, as well as to enrich our K-12 curriculum. But we really want to create some kind of academic academy that engaged the kids in problem-based learning, team-based problem-based learning over the summer. Growing up, we've been impacted by somebody in our life. I know I have been. And because of my interaction with that individual, it has helped shape and mold me to who I am today. And our, our goal at, at the Summer STEM Academy is that we are doing that for these kids. Uh, I need my volunteers in here. We are being those positive role models, um, showing them what it means to respect others and, and build this passion within them uh, to be successful. Two, one, I'm getting reset. It began with the reality that there was nothing for our kids around STEM sciences through the summer. We offer summer school, we have sports camps, but there was nothing designed for kids, especially in that middle range of third through sixth grade and hopefully beyond next year, in which they're engaged in learning, especially around the STEM curriculum. Yeah, you guys are STEMers, you're gonna engage your curiosity. All the pieces were there, all we had to do was connect the dots and create something magic. And that's, that's how I feel about Summer STEM Academy. I think it's, I think it's magic. So we wanted to offer areas that would be naturally engaging. So makers of machines, we do 3D printing, we do the drone studies, we look at all different kinds of Ozobots and robotics. Then you've got river where we look at ecosystems and the ecology of the Little Spokane River and take the canoe trip, looking at macroinvertebrates and the health of that ecosystem. We do CSI where we look at crime scene investigation. We do DNA fingerprinting and try to solve the mystery, the crime scene that was set up. Uh, and then we also do gaming and coding where they get exposure to programming their own games uh, and apps and learning what's behind the games. What am I looking for, Cameron, when I'm looking for somebody who deserves it? First day of STEM camp, some of them are worried, they're nervous, they're not sure who they're gonna be hanging out with and what they're gonna be doing. And by the second day, they're super excited and they're here and ready to go. STEM camp is uh, kids innovating. They're gonna be learning about their world and learning how to redefine their world, how to live within their world and how to save their world. And I want you to cut straight down from here and you're gonna make an incision all the way down. The Mead Summer STEM Academy is all about giving kids the space to just explore. The students drive it and we just provide the space for them to explore and explore different avenues and different things. Good observation, I like that. It's not school, it's not homework, they love coming here. I've heard students say, man, I thought you were gonna tell me what to do and I just get to explore, this is so fun. I've had students say, is lunch over yet? I wanna go back to the classroom and I wanna go back and play. It's, the students love it, it's amazing. It's all about our kids using their brains to problem solve and work together on teams and to approach something new and apply what they're learning. With the River Group, we're looking at how can we be stewards of what we're given, the beauty of the Little Spokane River, and to monitor it. Is there something going on that needs uh, our action in care? It's really all about that creative process had a student today say this is so different from home because at home I just play the game. Here I create the game. And it was just one of those moments where they realized the, the, the potential that they have to create and make and design. And that's really at the heart of what we're doing. It can't just be the curriculum. It has to be um, the person. It has to be teach them how to be a, a member of society that is actually doing good for their society and not just taking up space. And that is our, our focus. Um, and we're hoping we're doing that with all of our kids.